In this video, we'll balance the equation for calcium phosphate plus this carbon here. And then we get calcium phosphide and this carbon monoxide. So these will be solids. Carbon monoxide, that'll be a gas. I'm guessing there's probably heat involved to make this happen. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have three calcium atoms. Phosphorus, we have two times the one. So we'll have two phosphorus atoms. Two times the four gives us eight oxygens, one carbon. On the product side, we have the three calcium, two phosphorus, one oxygen, and one carbon. So we have the number of atoms on each side. Now let's change the coefficients in front to balance the equation. If we were to put an eight in front of the CO, that would balance the oxygens. So one times eight, that gives us eight oxygen atoms. And then one carbon times eight, that gives us eight carbons. So we're almost there. The nice thing is carbon's by itself. It's one of the reasons I left it till last. Now we just put an eight as our coefficient here. One times eight, that gives us eight. And we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for calcium phosphate plus carbon gives us this calcium phosphide plus the carbon monoxide gas, Ca3PO42 plus C. Thanks for watching.